fixing to do something really bad. Coming into this McDonald's here. I love their soft serve ice cream. Now I get some nuggets for the doggies. But this one is interesting because they've done it like the old style McDonald's. It's here on Johnson Drive. Johnson Drive in, what town are we in? Uh, I'm sorry if I, it's, it might still be Miriam. It's, uh, uh, no, it's in Mission. I'm pretty sure it's in Mission. Sorry about that, you know. But a lot of these, not to take away, a lot of these little suburbs, if you're not from here, they, they kind of like, <laughs> it's hard to know exactly where you are unless you're looking at a map. I mean, by, my, by being from here, I mean actually living in one of these small suburbs, but I'm going to see if I can get uh, something healthy to snack on here, but I know I'm going to eat something not healthy to snack on, which is their ice cream, soft serve ice cream. Now, I'm into Route 66, and McDonald's started in Route 66, on Route 66, in San Bernardino, California, with the two McDonald's brothers, and um, they opened up this little restaurant. At first they had a barbecue joint, different ventures that they tried, and nothing seemed to work until they I believe they, they stripped down the menu because they noticed what happened is that, and this was back in the late 40s, early 50s, what was going on was they were constantly chasing kids away from their restaurants because all they wanted to do was cruise. And you know, the high school kids, they don't have a lot of money. And so they couldn't afford, oh, I'm coming in, I have to finish this story later. Hold on. All right, thank you. Ooh, fast food isn't cheap. Anyway, so where was I? I was talking about teenagers and you know, talking about not being cheap and teenagers not having any money. So they decided to, the brothers had decided that instead of chasing the teenagers off, which was always a losing battle, they would serve them. And they figured out what teenagers like to eat, which is burgers, fries, soft drinks and they stripped their menu down to like nothing but those things and their restaurant went from not making any money to making tons of money every kid in town would have to stop in at the McDonald's and they cruise up and down the strip and everything and so they hit upon the great idea which was the basis for the whole operation and um, then an entrepreneur by the name of, what was it, Ray Kroc, was looking for a uh, franchise opportunity. He wanted to start a franchise chain of restaurants. He saw what they were doing. He offered them money for the, uh, the operation, the business, and he bought McDonald's. And the interesting thing is, was that when he bought the McDonald's, he thought that he was buying their store as well, their original McDonald's restaurant, and they were like, oh, no, no, that wasn't part of the deal. We get to keep our own restaurant. And so he and they immediately started, the, their business relationship went sour. And that location is uh, still there. It's not a restaurant anymore. It is now a uh, um, museum an unofficial, non-corporate McDonald's museum. Uh, you had the oatmeal, a dip cone, 10 nuggets. It's gonna be at 9.04. So the, uh, the original McDonald's uh, location we went and visited when we visited San Bernardino, and it seems like San Bernardino has been the home for some reason, the home of a lot of um, fast food franchises that you may know. Uh, one of them I know is Taco Bell, which also has an interesting history related to San Bernardino. But uh, Ray Kroc, when he started his McDonald's, they were like the um, 
uh, kind of the walk-up drive-in sort of thing. You would kind of drive in, and they didn't have an indoor location or indoor place you could sit. Sit, if anything, they had kind of an outdoor picnic type seating, and you would walk up to the front window and order your food, and then take it to go or sit out front. And um, for a long time, all McDonald's were like that. They didn't have indoor seating or any any of the amenities we have now. And uh, and they kind of look like the original ones. I believe kind of look like this one. The original original one. His first restaurant that he built and opened up is in Illinois. Oh, okay. All right, thanks. Going to number one. Anyway, the uh, restaurants had kind of the uh, the red and white stripes and sort of the um, cantilevered roof. And I believe the original mascot was Mr. Speedy. And um, I think it was the original one was in Des Plaines, Illinois, which was... Um, and you know, don't quote me on that. I have to go. I don't, don't have the information in front of me right now. Um, and it may also be in on Route 66, on the other end of Route 66, in the Chicago area. Route 66 runs from Chicago to Los Angeles, so it's like a business that literally start was born on Route 66. Um, and uh, the original McDonald's, which was always owned by the, the two brothers, is now owned, um, the, the two brothers have passed away, and is, the, uh, um, is now owned by, um, oh, I forget his name, but he, he owns a chain of restaurants. He's a very interesting, eccentric Japanese-American guy who um, owns a chain of restaurants. But he also started in the San Bernardino area um, called uh, Juan Polo or is it, is it Juan Polo or Chicken Loco? Man, I really need to get my facts straight before I get this, do one of these spiels, but essentially it's a rotisserie chicken uh, chain and it's very popular among Hispanic people. Uh, oh. How are you? Pretty good, thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Thanks. Mmm. Ice cream for ice cream. But anyway, I better hee <laughs> hee it before I butcher more facts. And as always, don't take everything I say as gospel just kind of fodder for discussion anyway I'm gonna quit this detour and head on somewhere else but the only other thing I'd like to say is that this is a very neat drive if you like Route 66 Johnson Drive and in Mission Kansas is um, a very nice drive They've been doing some improving on it. Uh, hopefully they don't tear down all the things that I like about it. You know, the old kind of roadside architecture. And there's a local little restaurant chain called Town Topic. There's three restaurants. I think at one time there was a total of five or six in the Kansas City area. And the one up here in Johnson Drive, which I can see the sign for it now, is a Valentine Diner. Valentine Diners were made in Wichita, Kansas by Arthur Valentine. He started the company. And um, I believe that every manufactured diner on Route 66 was a Valentine. There were no other companies that people bought diners for on Route 66. Though people inaccurately will buy... Oh, don't do that will inaccurately buy these uh, like East Coast diner, Art Deco style diner things and it'll say Route 66 above it 
that is historically inaccurate. If there was a diner, it would be a Valentine. Or, it, you know, there were a lot of buildings that were called themselves diners, but they weren't manufactured to be diners. Anyway, I got to hee <laughs> hee.